So let's talk about the CLEP College Algebra exam. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you are studying to take the CLEP College Algebra exam, and that is definitely a smart move because if you can pass this exam, you're going to get college credits for college algebra uh, in most colleges and universities, saving you time and money. And uh, if you have taken at least Algebra 2 in high school, you definitely should try to pass the CLEP College Algebra exam. And what I have for you here is a practice problem, but uh, this problem should be pretty easy for most of you out there, obviously you're going to college. So here is the problem. We have a function, and the function is f of x is equal to the square root of 2x plus 5. And what we want to do is find the domain of this function under the set of real numbers. Okay, so if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course we'll walk through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. I'm also the founder of TC Math Academy, and uh, over several years I've constructed many math courses to include test prep courses, and I actually have a very successful CLEP College Algebra test prep course. I'm gonna leave a link to it uh, in the description of this video. Now again, if you have taken up to Algebra 2, well, you should be pretty much, um, well, at least have the, uh, you know, the math background to uh, be successful on this test. But the key to passing the CLEP College Algebra exam, and by the way, this is not to be confused with the CLEP College Math exam. There is two CLEP uh, math uh, exams, one being college mathematics, which involves much more advanced math. I actually have that test prep course as well. So if you're interested in either my CLEP College Algebra or CLEP College Math, a matter of fact, I'll leave the link, uh, the links to both of those courses in the description of this video. But here is the, uh, the key to passing the CLEP College Algebra exam. You have to be fully prepared. So just because you maybe did well in high school algebra two, you have to know all this material. It's gotta be fresh in your mind. And it, you know, it's like taking a final exam for algebra one, geometry and algebra two, particularly a lot of the advanced concepts in algebra two. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So the domain of this function could be expressed in different ways, but basically it's all x's that are greater than or equal to negative five over two, where x is an element of the real number system. Okay, so this is only one way you can express the domain, but uh, there are other ways using interval notations and graphs, etc. But basically, they're all equivalent. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. All right, so as I uh, indicated, the domain of a function is the values that we are allowed to plug into a function. Now, when it comes to a function in the set of real numbers, pretty much we can plug anything into a function, but there are two restrictions that we have to look out for. And the first is square roots. Okay, now I'll, you can kind of see here, I'm explaining this in a second. So if you see a function with the square root, kind of have to be on high alert. And the second is a function where you have a fraction. Okay, so basically, when you have a function where there's a fraction, you can never have a situation where you end up with a zero in uh, the denominator. And when you have a function that has a square root, you can never have a situation that, and you, that uh, allows a negative underneath that square root. So basically, uh, when it comes to this function, we don't have a fraction, so we don't have to concern ourselves with a zero in the denominator. But 2x plus 5, well, this right here can never be negative. So 2x plus 5 can be zero or positive. So we can kind of uh, write an inequality and say, okay, 2x plus 5, uh, where are you um, greater than zero, which means positive or equal to zero, because the square root of zero is zero. We just can't find the square root of negative values in the real number system. Now, of course, you can find those values in the complex and or imaginary number system. But remember, this problem specifically said, hey, we're dealing with real numbers. Okay, so basically, this problem is pretty easy, especially if you know how to work with inequalities, which, of course, is another topic that you'll definitely see. So we're going to just go ahead and figure out the solution to this inequality. 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So what we're going to do here 
is subtract 5 from both sides. Basically, you're going to kind of do the steps as if you were solving an equation uh, in an equation. So we have 2x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Now, just because this is negative, a lot of you might be thinking, don't we flip the inequality sign? No, that's if you're dividing both sides of the inequality by a um, negative number. So if I had a situation like this, now we're dividing both sides by negative 2. This is where you uh, reverse the inequality. See over here, this is just a negative 5. So just in case some of you were thinking that I should uh, uh, reverse this inequality symbol, that's not the case. All right, so all I need to do here is divide both sides of the inequality by 2, and you get all x's that are greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. All right, so again, there's different ways we can express uh, this answer. So we can say the domain is all x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves, where x is an element of the or a member of the real number system. Again, uh, there's uh, interval notation and even other ways. Okay, so I don't think these steps are difficult, at least hopefully they shouldn't be too difficult uh, for you if you are going to be uh, taking the CLEP College Algebra exam, because what we're doing here is pretty much like Algebra 1 level kind of work. But again, I think a lot of people who can pass the CLEP College Algebra exam kind of underestimate how well they have to go back and review a lot of topics. There's a lot of material that you'll learn between Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. But again, the emphasis here would be on Algebra 2 level material like logarithms, polynomials, quadratic equations, rational equations, etc., etc. Okay, so you could definitely do this, but make sure you study. And again, if you want to check out my CLEP College Algebra and or CLEP College Math uh, test prep courses, I'll leave a link uh, to both of them in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your college career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.